Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, buddies. She got her butt right in your face. Yeah, she got her butt right in my face. You should make her move, ma. All right, so real quick, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update info on Miss Memphis. There may have already been a video that has gone up over at Gone to the Snow Dogs about what's going on with a whole bunch of detail, which I will post a link to down in the video description below. So as I said, there's a long form video of this over on the dog channel, but here's the quick rundown. Memphis is doing okay. She's feeling okay. She's eating fine. She's every, literally everything is fine, except a couple weeks ago, she went outside, she ate grass and she threw up red, which is usually blood. Um, dogs don't just eat grass because their stomach's upset. I know a lot of people will instantaneously say, oh, her stomach's upset. Dogs eat grass for a whole lot of different reasons, but that's a totally different story. I'm getting off track. So anyway, Memphis is feeling fine, acting fine. Everything is fine. We took her to the vet when it happened. They gave her some medicine to like coat everything. They didn't run a bunch of tests because it was the first time it had happened and she was acting completely normal. Like a week later, about a week later, maybe a week and a half, it happened again. So I called the vet, made a note, and said, hey, it happened again, but again, she's acting normal. I'm gonna give her that same medicine again. Another week later, happened again. She had a vet appointment yesterday. Uh, I didn't film it, but she had a vet appointment yesterday. We went in, we had x-rays done, all of this testing done, and they're not seeing anything yet. So as of the day I'm filming this, which there may be updates to this, if there is, I will post them down in the video description below for you guys. As of today, on Monday, she's going to be getting an endoscopy done. So basically they're gonna take like a camera thing and they're gonna put it down there and they're gonna see what they can see. The good news is with uh, it being red as it comes out, that means it's like, it should be centralized to the upper GI system or above. Could be as simple as she ate something and it cut her throat and inside wounds can take a lot longer to heal. So we're not like freaking out just yet. I mean, I am, that's not, that's a lie. I'm totally freaking out. Something's wrong with my dog. Of course I'm freaking out, but we're trying to stay really, really positive about it. And the vets kind of the same way. They're like, you know, it's nothing else is wrong. She's eating normal, she's drinking normal, she's doing everything else normal. Um, I debated on whether or not I was getting even tell you guys before we had all the information, but you know, you guys are here on this journey with us. And I, one, I wanna talk about it because hey, maybe some of it, somebody out there has gone through it and maybe they have some suggestions on things to try. Hi babe, I know. Um, she's not in pain. She's, like I said, everything else is perfectly fine. But I did want to give you this quick little Memphis health update. And like I said, uh, we'll be going to the vet in a couple of days to get an endoscopy done. I will try to be posting updates as I can. Some of you may have already seen all of this information because, you know, I've been posting it other places. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Again, she's acting perfectly normal. It's the weirdest thing. Even the vets are like, well... If it was this, she'd be doing this. If it was this, she'd be doing that. She's not doing anything. So it could just be some weird anomaly and hopefully we'll find out soon. But I wanted to make sure to update you guys. I don't want to keep you in the dark about what's going on. I have also been on the internet a very long time and those of you that have been with us for a very long time know that we have lost three of our dogs while doing YouTube. And it's hard every time it happens. And sometimes I get to that point where I'm like, what do I share and I don't want I don't like sharing the information when I don't have a lot of information to give you guys it's kind of how I feel right now I'm like ah, do I wait till after the endoscopy do I but you know what I'm I'm putting it out there this is what we know it is what it is and we're just gonna take things day by day and see what happens and we're all gonna hope that it's nothing major and hopefully we'll have answers on Monday if we don't have answers on Monday then we go to the next step and we may have to go to a specialist down the state to see what's going on we would like to know what's going on so that's where we are don't freak out please don't I don't want everybody to freak out that's the biggest thing I'm like I don't want to scare everybody <laughs> so don't freak out stay positive about it right right Memphis She's like, oh yeah, yeah, see, that's fine. You guys are all just worrying for nothing. Don't worry for nothing. Yeah, hopefully it's all for nothing. Hi, babe. Where's he going? She's like, I'm good. I'm getting snuggles. It's the best. Well, we started off the day with rain, and now the sun's coming out. And as soon as that sun comes out, it starts to get warm, and that humidity comes back, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness. Humidity and heat. Oh, I think it's about time we do a, a baby bird check. What do you guys think? Should we check on a baby bird? I'll have to get your dad out here because I can't reach. Oh no, what happened to the frisbee? What happened to it? It's in pieces. Look, it's all in pieces. There's dad over there. And mom. Here's a nest, let's see. 
I can get close enough. Oh, we got little babies. Uh huh. No. All right, all right, all right, I'll leave it like <laughs> He's in the tree over there, barking at us. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll leave him alone. Where you going, feisty girl? Like, I'm going way back here to check out these birds. <laughs> Whoa, all three of you are sitting? All right, oh, it's because they're fish treats. Here you go. Hey, wait, sit. One for you. Oh, one. Okay, one for you and one for you. That one, that wasn't for you. I mean, one of them was, but those are the best treats ever, huh? Remember them dehydrated cod treats? And man, the dogs just love them. Don't take hers. And she's like, I'm gonna go steal her crumbs. These are the ones they have right now. I'll try to post a photo of the other brand that we usually get, but they really like them. They're just you know, cod skin treats. They don't get them all the time, but you know, maybe once a day. Let's go. No, you gotta like get in your spot. You gotta get in your spot, you crazy monkey. He's like, but I'm so happy. Are you hungry? Do you want? Do you want some food? Uh huh. I know. All right. Okay. Sit. He's just like, just give me the food. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. A bowl for you. A bowl for you. And even though we don't even ask you to go in there, a bowl for you. <laughs> For the girls. So we haven't been out to the family farm in quite a while and it was a nice day today and we thought we would come out here and show you the garden even though we didn't show putting it in but we thought we'd come out here and show you the garden. Are these all tomatoes? Yes. Holy tomatoes. Yes. You need to stake them. Wow. So we've got tomatoes and corn and it's up. It's knee high. And then pumpkins. Looks like pumpkins. Well, some of the pumpkin plants got big. We definitely did less pumpkins this year, but maybe we'll actually get some pumpkins out of them this year. These ones back here are bigger, so maybe these ones will give us some nice big pumpkins. Charles just sent me a photo of a pumpkin growing in his yard. He said, we don't have them growing just yet. And then there's a couple back there. So that's the garden this year, mainly tomatoes. That's what mom wanted this year, so that's what they planted. It looks good though. Mm -hmm. And then what did he do in the field? This is just hay, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's back to hay again. It's nice out here today. Stop. I know, they're huge. That's crazy. Well, they should start flowering soon and then uh, we'll have to come back and check again yeah. in a month or so. Maybe we'll have some pumpkins. Hopefully we'll get to use it again soon. But look, the camper's out here. Mom and Dad have been coming out here and having coffee in the morning and enjoying some time in there, which is kind of cool. And then hopefully in about a month, we'll go camping together again. Did you miss us for the whole, what, 40 minutes we were gone? Well, good morning. They're like, it's not morning. It's middle of the afternoon. I saw you, but Eleanor was in my way. You were upside down, bellies up in the window. It was cute. That was cute. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, I know. You're just like, mom, 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 it's me. It's me. Did you know I'm here? Yes, I know you're there. I know you're there too. So after we got back from the farm, Jamie ended up going out kayaking with Greg for a little bit. We'll insert a little clip from that right here. It might. You probably needed a little more speed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Quick, fight the current. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Here's the first rapid. <laughs> it's more of a dam. Or one-handed, oh no. I don't know if I can do it. All right, here comes Craig. That's crazy. Doesn't look that bad, but that's crazy. <laughs> line up, line up. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Wolf Creek Park. And just like that, it got dark outside. 
And uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, we got back from the farm and we pretty much did not do anything. We just chilled out. I did miss the footage of Miss Memphis losing her marbles out in the backyard because my camera was in here. So instead of running in here to get the camera and her stopping, I just let her run around and lose her marbles. And then I was like, dang it, I wish I would have shown that to you guys to prove to you that Memphis really is acting completely normal, which is still the weirdest thing ever. Ever. And I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but if you guys want, you can follow us on our Instagram and our Facebook page. I may have mentioned that, and that's probably where I'll be doing more updates sooner. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. This was an odd vlog. It's okay. We're allowed to have those once in a while. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Good night, audience.